Hello, Eduardo. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you, Eduardo? Fine, and you? I'm pretty happy to have you here. <laughs> I'm fine. Your, your daughter is okay? She's okay. Right now she's sleeping. <laughs> oh, she's sleeping. Yeah, you know, um, for about like uh, maybe three weeks ago, we went to the beach. And she started mm. with some kind of rush, I can say, some rush in her hand. Mm -hmm. And after we went to the beach, the rush stopped. So I said, like a, like a grandmother, right? Like, el agua del mar la curo. Yeah, but then, uh, like, maybe more than a week ago, she started to have the same rush. So, and it started to increase, you know, in her hand. So then yesterday we took her to a specialist uh, to know what's going on with her. So mm -hmm. she got some creams and a kind of medication, okay, for for 15 days. And then we're going to go again to check if she has improved, okay, or not. But this is like a, a dermatitis, right? Something related dermatitis. to, yeah, something related to the changes of the, 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 the weather in El Salvador. Mm, and yeah. you know, this is, <laughs> this is so common, right? For los example, polvo, los polvos del Sahara, tal vez. El Sahara, everything comes to, to, San Sa to, to El Salvador, right? The, the, the pollution, the contamination. Yeah, the pollution. Yeah, and they, well, now she has some kind of restrictions. For example, she cannot no. be uh, playing with plants. She cannot swim right now in swimming uh -huh. pool. Only for a but, short but time. The, the origin is, is no animals. No, because we don't have animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't no, have. No, I think I think in the in the in many uh, insects or the insects. Yeah, uh, the doctor told me it was something related to to the environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because she doesn't have any <clears throat> like uh, this kind of rash in other parts of her body. That's why, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so only in her hand. So I think it was something that she touched, right? You know, something very peculiar is that we have fish. We have a fish bowl. And maybe mm -hmm. I remember one day she put her hand into the fish bowl. So maybe that can cause this kind of uh, rush too because I, I have read in, in some books that the water in a fish bowl has a lot of contaminants. Pollutants. Or, or, huh? or la, la, I, I don't know what is the, la medusa. Mm -hmm. Very, very uh, medusa. Ah, from the beach? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's not, not possible. The, the, she is. I don't know. Maybe she was playing in the beach and she touched something, you know. Uh -huh. I, I cannot really tell you about it. But, but thank God she's under control. Right. Yeah. So okay. that's why yesterday I'm pretty sorry for that. I didn't tell you before, no. but it was something that I didn't have scheduled. Uh, and then I, I asked for a substitution. Okay, for the class. That's it. Okay. Uh, how many how many guys connected were here in the class? Three, right? Hello. 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 I'm so sorry, Eduardo. I got mm -hmm. a problem in my connectivity. It was me, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I was talking to you, then you were frozen. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, it, is it raining in 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 your in your place? In this moment, no. No. Okay. It was no. raining here like 15 minutes ago. Maybe that's why. Ah. It, 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 it because here it's quite windy. Now it's windy. It's windy. foggy, windy, you know, windy. it's a sano, yeah, well, well, it's, mucho viento, uh -huh. ah, okay. like, uh, like yo October. Tengo, uh -huh. Yo tengo una aplicación que se llama uh -huh. Windy, oh, para, really? ver el, para ver el, el clima. clima. Ah, you see, uh -huh. it has to, uh -huh. it is related to the weather. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. but okay. I, I know 
Mm -hmm. uh, last, last night at the midnight, a uh, wall collapsed. Uh -huh. and two people die in San Marcos. Yes, uh, like in a, in a neighborhood that is quite vulnerable. Uh -huh. Yeah, very young people, right? Oh, yesterday was so hard. When I was going to do the city, uh, there were a lot of trees on the floor, on the on the on mm -hmm. the on the on the street, blocking or some slides. You know, kind of avalanches that have, you know, get down. I remember uh, that in the news I read that I didn't see that. Okay, but in the news I read it was like a couple of people who died because it was at night i think they were sleeping and that mm. avalanche came over their home so that's why they died it was very dangerous yesterday okay, i read I, the news I, did you I, read the news today in the morning i, I saw the i saw the tv mm -hmm. yeah the, the was, news. yeah in yeah, the morning. It was, yeah it was very hard it was a, a also today in the morning was in Should over pan american street uh, yeah, but this is a crash. Yeah, it was a crash, but it was so, I, I don't know. When you had to die, you die, right? Yeah, the person didn't die in the accident. Then he was in the, the ambulance and then the ambulance yeah. crashed. And it, so anyways, he died. He or she, I didn't know if it was a he girl is, or a boy. It's, it's, ah, it's a boy? boy. Ah, okay, so uh, uh, again, very again, sorry. Uh, a girl died in the in the micro in a microbus. The microbus. Oh my God! Really? Well, a, a, a girl, a, a, a lady. A lady. Ah, okay. The, the man is uh, is he, he? He had only uh, he was he was taken to a hospital, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. But he's he in, had, in, in in bad condition. Yes, he was injured. Yeah, Iba lesionado. Sure. Uh huh. He was Un injured. Lesionado. Uh-huh, so, and on the way to the hospital, bash, other crash. Other crash. <laughs> that yeah. was kind of ironic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's similar, very nice. similar a, a, a movie uh, with uh, Pedro Infante. Which one? I know some movies about I don't, him. I don't remember, but they, uh, the, 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 <laughs> the other guys, uh, and, and, and he uh, is uh, like an enemies. Uh-huh. And I remember they, they used to be un accidente. They had an accident. Uh huh. Oh my God. Oh, really? Well, do you remember the name of the movie? No, no. but I, I, si la encuentro, la mando. Okay, please. Uh -huh, that's it. <laughs> that was quite similar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very similar, to be honest. Okay, cool. Very good. Did you practice yesterday about phrasal verbs, right, Eduardo? Um, you remember phrasal verbs yesterday you were practicing this i talked to the teacher she told me you were practicing about well sí. uh, starting right the, the two phrase two two part verbs two part verbs but mm -hmm. different different uh, ah, different she, vocabulary and sentences very exactly different. yeah and, uh -huh. i i remember she told me that you have started like a separable verbs and non-separable. Uh, sorry, no, don't understand. A, did she tell you about some phrasal verbs that you can separate? For example, in this case, you, for example, turn down the TV, turn the TV down. Yeah, it's similar to that. Uh -huh. Okay, that, exercises, right? Further so, exercises. Okay. See? Yeah, yeah. On, on on Monday, I just gave you like a little explanation about when to separate it and how to separate them, right? To put the word in the middle or to put it at the end, you know, where mm -hmm. where you have to put it. Okay, the place. Okay, more or less. Okay, yeah. cool. Also, so what do you remember from yesterday? Tell me. I have a, a, a screen capture. Uh huh. Let's, okay. Let's Share check. it with me. Uh huh. Share it with me. Cool. She told me there were just three people yesterday, right? Three people. Uh huh. Yeah. Three people. Ah, okay. It was you. Who else? Um. Claudia. Claudia. Mm -hmm. Ah, Wendy. I think so. And and Jose. Ah, really? Wendy appeared. Good. Yeah. Excellent. 
Okay, I, very nice. Mm -hmm. I, I have that in, in your WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm checking it right now. Send it to me, okay, so I can have a better idea of what you're talking about. Okay. Cool. This is the screenshot you took yesterday. Let me, let me, let me, let me share it with you. Okay, go ahead. Today we continue with the same topic where we're going to move it to a different perspective. Okay. This is a chart, uh, slide. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, very good. Uh huh. Pick up, pick up, turn off, hang up, take out, get off, turn down, turn away, throw away. Uh huh. This another, is like, mm -hmm. uh, another was, um, other, other exercise. Let me check in my phone. I, I, I take the picture. You took the picture? Okay, I very nice. Picture, yeah. Uh huh, great. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> This is like, like this is like what we did last time. For example, if we say pick up mm. the books, pick the books up or pick them up. Okay. With nouns, very good. Nouns and phrases, good. And if you can send me the other one, that would be nice. Yeah, today we call like the same topic, but we're gonna make requests. You know, how to ask for something. The, Let me see. The the. the the second exercise mm -hmm. for practice was more difficult. Difficult. For... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you need you need to know the meanings. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Make up, get in, fly away, put back, turn down, put up. For example, in this case, put up is tolerate. Uh -huh. Okay. It... Find out. Take off. Take off, that would be quitarse la ropa or despegar, right? Yeah. <laughs> it depends. Yeah, take off uh -huh. is the airplane. The airplane. For example, you say my airplane took off at 2 p.m. yesterday, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Break into. Uh huh. Break into, make up. Okay. Yeah, there are new ones. You know, Eduardo, there are uh, dictionaries on phrasal verbs. Dictionary yeah. this big, so that means that this is a very hard topic because they have to memorize the meanings. This is not so. Uh, yeah. She told you right that the only way is through memorization. Yeah, I found um, one one website. Uh huh. Did you find a list? With, uh, 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 one hundred fifty. <laughs> Uh, different, like so different, uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot, it's a lot, a lot, exactly. Okay, I, you know, when I was studying at the university, uh, I just learned about 50 in the top, and okay. the rest, the rest of the first adverse I know, I have been learning them like through readings or through I don't know, movies, music, etc. Okay. okay. Yeah, because it was so difficult for me. My teacher gave us uh, a list of two hundred, so he said memorize them. Oh my God! I said wow. reverse. Yeah, and let me tell you this one: one phrasal verb can have different meanings, not only one. Yeah, different it's, meanings. It's, well, that is very so difficult. So difficult, exactly. Uh huh. So that's why in here in the intermediate too, we have just the most common ones. Okay, like uh -huh. clean up, hang up, pick up, uh, put away. Uh, what is the other one? Well, we have, a, I'm going to give you more. Okay, I'm going to give you more. The idea is to make a list, but not too big. Okay, so you cannot like feel like stressed when you're learning them. Okay, this is the idea yes. to feel comfortable. But if you learn 15 verbs, but very well done. Okay, and you can use them whenever you want. Okay, yep. Jose is here. Jose, hello. hello. Very nice to have you in my class again, Jose. Cool. Uh, Very punctual, sorry. Jose. Yesterday you were in the class. The teacher told me. Sorry? Uh, the teacher told me you were in the class yesterday. So very nice. Punctual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I am talking to Eduardo about um, the class from yesterday. Okay. So more or less, I, and we were discussing that phrasal verbs are not so easy. Okay. Because you need a lot of memory. 
okay, to, to identify them and to know the meaning and to put them in the correct context, okay? I think this is the most difficult part, okay? We're gonna okay. go through, we're gonna go through the, the ones that we have, like, we are more familiar with, okay? Uh, but to start with, uh, we have the, the topic for here, for today, and the topic that I have uh, for you today is household chores, okay? Those are quehaceres del hogar, okay? okay. Household chores. No chores, los chores que decimos, ponete el chor rojo. No, in this case, it's chores for uh, oficios del hogar, okay? That's it. So, here we have the letter A. Uh, Jose, can you please help me to read the instructions? Uh, letter A is a fine phrase that is usually paired with mm -hmm. each two part verb. Some fresh phrases go with more than one verb. Very good. Then, then add one more phrase for each verb. For each verb. Okay. For example, we have Eduardo. Can you read the verbs that we have here? Uh, clean up. Clean up. Hang up. Hang up. Pick up. Put mm -hmm. away, put away, put away, take out, put up, put, up, put away, uh -huh. put away, mm -hmm. take out, throw out, throw out, turn off, uh -huh. turn off, and turn on. And okay, turn on. excellent, very good. So, what are the phrases that you consider you can put here? Let's start with this part. Jose, this is for you. The first four uh, verbs, this is for you. And Eduardo, the other four verbs are for you. Okay. Let's see, Eduardo, you have the garbage, the groceries, the magazines, the mess, the microwave, the towels, your coat, and your laptop. Okay, Jose, we start with you. Clean up what, Jose? Clean up and... Clean up, the, what did you mean in mess? Okay, mess is el, uh, el desorden, right? Uh, uh -huh. Clean up the mess. Clean up the mess, okay, very good. Any other? Any other? Uh, the microwave. Uh huh. Clean up the microwave. To clean up the mic microwave. Mm -hmm. Mm, the towels. Do I have no, another one? Watch. No, the towels, I don't think so. The uh -huh. watch. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. The laptop. The laptop. Your laptop. Your laptop. If, if Your it laptop. is, if it is. So if you have some macaroni on the laptop, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you want to pick up the macaroni over there, uh -huh. so you say clean up your laptop. Okay, that's it. Okay, what about hang up? Hang up. Hang up your coat. Your coat. Hang up your coat. Excellent. The, what about the, the towels? The, the towels. towels. Very good. This is like, and that's, and that's la toalla. Uh -huh. So hang up the towels, hang up the coat. Excellent. Pick up, Jose. Pick up the garbage. Pick up the garbage. Excellent. The groceries. Okay, pick up. The, the magazines. The magazines, if they are all over, right? Okay, that's it. Okay, pick up the magazines. Okay, very good. Put away. <laughs> Put away. Put away the garbage. <laughs> Put away the garbage. Uh -huh. Only. Uh, only that? Okay, put away. Yeah. This is like yeah. ponerla lejos de algún lado, right? Uh -huh. Put away. Put away. What other? No, no, the, the, excuse me, the, uh -huh. the traduction is, is, is incorrect. Uh, guardar, the meaning. In this way, yes, away. put it away. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. mm -hmm. Put it yes. away. Mm -hmm. the, the put it away. Mm -hmm. The magazine, the for example. Uh -huh. For example, the if, you, if you have this, um, for example, for example, you have magazines on your bed, right? The magazines mm -hmm. are not, but they don't have to be on the bed. So you say, put them away, please, okay? That's it, to remove them from the place where they are, okay? okay. That's it, They're very lessening. good. Excellent. Uh -huh. So we have more, right? Okay, put away, okay, the garbage, okay, the groceries too. When you go to the supermarket and you bring them to the house, and you say, put all the groceries away or put them away, okay? Very good. Eduardo, what about I, take I, out? I, yes, I, sir? I, I, I say to my son, I pay for that, you put away. And to put it away. 
<laughs> you're so uh, four years old, right? Huh? Four years old, right? No, my the my, big one. my son, uh, my uh, the big one. So, the big one. Uh, oh, okay, uh, yes. yeah. This is common. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Jose is working hard, <laughs> and your son is having fun, right? Hey, cool. <laughs> That's great. Okay, Eduardo, what about takeout? What do you think? Take out the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, the Any mess. other take out? Okay. Sakal, the mm, no, 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 in this case, no. Take, take out, uh, it's no, it's, uh, the this is like sacar. Eliminar. Mm -hmm. Eliminar. Sacar, take out. It could be different, it has different meanings. One, uh, Por ejemplo, cuando vamos al restaurante decimos take out food, o sea, comida para llevar, right? Okay. Take out food in this case, okay? So I can say, for example, if you are in the car and you come from the from the um, groceries from the grocery store or from the supermarket, you say vaya a sacar la bolsa, le dice, right? Take, take out. out the groceries in this case, okay. uh -huh. or the bags if you want to okay. say so. Throughout. Okay, throw in this out. case, throw out, uh -huh, throw out, in what the, do we have? Garbage. Throw out the garbage, very good. Mm -hmm. or, or, or the microwave. Oh, yeah. with, <laughs> <laughs> Apple, you have Functional. a lot of money, you have a lot of tiral. No, it's so crucial. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, good. In that case, maybe, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, or uh, throw out the mess, okay. Todo eso, lo sucio, sacar, tirarlo, aventarlo, llevarlo, right? Okay. Turn off. Okay. What about turn off? Turn off the, the microwave. Turn off the, the microwave. Uh -huh. Your laptop. Your laptop. Very good. What about turn on? The same. The same. Uh -huh. the same. <laughs> yeah. The laptop. Turn on the laptop or turn on the, the, microwave. the, 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 the microwave. Okay. Very good. Okay. This is what we're going to do today, guys. Today, we are going to request. Okay. We're going to make requests. And you're going to help me to practice okay this stuff in here let me share with you this part let me share my sound okay here are some reasonable requests okay this is like a request you know you can use different models could can or would okay those are the requests when you want to ask for somebody, okay, for a favor in this case. Eduardo, bella, que va al super, cree que me puede comprar una caja de rinzo o una bolsa de galletas, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Okay. José, cree que le importaría este, mandarme ahí un, eh, que mandarme la tarea en la tarde. So this is a request, okay. So here, it says here, reasonable request, match the sentences, and then listen and check the answers here. Right now, guys, this is the, these are the requests, okay, that I have for you. I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to take this, um, like the picture, I'm going to send it to you, to your WhatsApp group, okay? This is what we're going to do. You are going to, right now, I'm going to give you like three minutes. This is going to be very fast, uh, okay? You are going to read the request on, well, number one, two, three, four, five. And in the letter size, so we have A, B, C, D, E. You have to tell me, okay, the corresponding, okay, um, answers, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it right now to the group. Uh, this is so you can read it in your in your cell phones, okay, or in your computer if you if you want that, okay. For example, the number one, could you please tell me the next time uh, you have a party? Could you tell me please where the next time you have a party? So this is okay. This is the the request. And what about the the second part? It's not very pleasant to see when I walk by. We don't want strangers to enter the building. The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. A lot of cars have been using my space recently. I like to make sure I'm not at home. 
So, what do you think is the request? Okay, and the second part, okay, of this part. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Jose, do you have any idea? Just one, A, B, C, D, E. B. Letter B, okay, that's it. Can you read the request? And Eduardo, you give the, the reply. Go. We don't, we don't want strangers to enter my building. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so this is, could you please tell me, Eduardo, read the question. Okay, could you, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? Mm -hmm. Continue, Jose. We don't want strangers to enter the building. To enter the building. Do you agree, Eduardo? Do you consider it the correct answer? Uh, I know, but mm -hmm. the, the, time, the next time, uh, the next time to, to have a party, mm -hmm. I think. I think as the the letter E. Letter E. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what is the letter yeah, E? I like to make sure I'm not at I home. like to make sure I'm not at home. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, what do you think? Okay. This is what I want you to do. This is individually. I want you to right now, please. I want you to uh, do it. I already sent the the picture, or you can read it in the in the computer. Okay. I want you to match one with A, B, C, D, E, two with B, C, D, E, A, and etc. Okay, but then we're gonna share. The answer is gonna give you the audio because then I'm gonna play the audio and you're going to check your answers, okay? There we go. I'm gonna give you three minutes. Do it, please. This is individual right now. And then we're gonna check, okay, by playing the audio. Okay, go ahead. Three minutes, okay. do it right now. This is individuals. And in okay. your notebooks, in your notebooks, you can match. Go ahead. Okay, do you have the answers, guys? Yes? Finish, Eduardo? Yeah, I think. Okay, very good. Jose, do you have the answers? The matching one? For example, Eduardo, for you, the number one is, could you please tell me the next time you have a party? And the answer for number one is? I think, I think, you no, know, it's a, a, a answer. It's a continue. It's like a, yeah, like a, like the second part of the request, yeah. like an explanation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Would you please tell me the next time you have, you a, party? have a party? And you uh, give an explanation, right? What do you think it is the number one? Uh, I think the E. I, I like to make sure I am not at home. I'm not at home. Okay. Uh -huh. Jose said the number one was letter B, right? I remember Jose says, so we don't want strangers to enter, to, uh -huh, to enter the building, right? Okay, right. let's continue with the second one. Can you I'm going to read. Uh -huh. That's it. Can, Can you, you turn, turn the music down? down? Go ahead. Uh, the, the, the C. The letter C. Uh, the walls are really thin, so the sun gets through on my apartment. Uh -huh. Go through to my apartment. Okay, so number two, C. Okay. Hello. And Jose is there. Hello, Jose. Hello, hello. Eduardo, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, pretty good. Nice. Hello, I come back. Sorry. Okay, very good. <laughs> there was like a no, frozen, but... a frozen moment. <laughs> okay. Only, only, only two. Uh, uh -huh. is a match from C. <laughs> okay, the number two, uh, the, the other are different. Okay, uh, let's continue. Eduardo, number three, what do you think? No, no, I, 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 I ya, ya lo pensé mejor. <laughs> ah, you changed your mind. Diga, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> uh -huh, tell me, okay, go ahead. Tell me the now the answer one, then. <laughs> the number one, could uh -huh. you please tell me the next time you have a party is the C, the, the words. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The words are really thin, thin. So, so the sound goes through to my apartment. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check the number one. Let's check. Page 39, exercise 7, perspectives. Reasonable requests? Part A, match the sentences. Then listen and check your answers. Number are all one. the requests reasonable? One. Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I'd like to make sure I'm not at home. Ah, oh, <laughs> what is the what is the explanation? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Okay, so it's the letter. E. The letter D. I like to make sure I'm not at home. Okay. Eduardo, this is like when you 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 have a million dollars lottery ticket, right? And then you yeah. have only two options. And if you choose the correct option, you get the million dollars. You have A and B. And then you say letter B, letter B, letter B. Are you sure? Definite answer, letter B. And then you say, no, I'm going to change it to A. And then the letter B is the million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Similar. Similar. So number one is letter E. Okay. Say, what do you I told you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But then you change your mind, huh? <laughs> yeah. Number two, can you turn the music down, please? Okay, so, the letter C. So the letter C. Continue. The walls are two. Uh, uh, are really thin. Uh -huh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. The walls are really thin. Yeah. So the sound. That's through to my apartment. To my exactly. apartment. Exactly. Okay, so you say number two. Number letter C. Let's check. Listen and check. 
Could you please tell me the next time you have a party? I'd like one. to make sure I'm not at home. Number two. Two. Can you turn the music down, please? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. Okay, very good. Nice, nice, nice. nice. So then number three. Jose, would you mind? Would you mind closing the door behind? You are making sure it looks and to understand. Would you mind closing the door behind you? And making sure it locks. This is like, por favor, eh, 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 te importaría cerrar la puerta atrás, okay? The, Behind you, la puerta trasera, o sea, la que está atrás, the, y asegurarte the, de que esté cerrada, pero con llave, right? Uh, Ajá. The, you mind this is B. So, we for you is... We don't want stranger. B. Letter B, to enter the building. What do you think, Eduardo? Agree or disagree? I agree. Agree. Okay, let's check. Mm -hmm. Let's check. Number three. Three. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. Excellent. Very good. That's it. Very nice. Okay, continue, please. Jose, the number four. Read the Would question. you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking space? Uh -huh. D. A lot, a lot of cars have been using my space recently. My space recently, good. I'd like to make Let's sure see. I'm not at home. Okay, let me These, check. The walls are really thin, so the sound goes through to my apartment. Okay, number three, let's see. Three. Would you mind closing the door behind you and making sure it locks? We don't want strangers to enter the building. Four. Four. Would you please tell your guests to use the visitor parking spaces? A lot of cars have been using my space recently. Okie dokie, very good. Okay, nice. And obviously, Eduardo, number five, please. Can you please five. read number five? Would you mind your, uh, not putting your garbage in the hallway? The hallway? Uh, it's not very, please, the letter E. A. A, uh-huh. A, yeah. It's not very pleasant. To see when I walk by. When I walk by. Five. Would you mind not putting your garbage in the hallway? It's not very pleasant to see when I walk by. Okay, pleasant. Pleasant. Okay, it's not very pleasant to see you uh, when yes. I walk by. Very good. Okay, that's it. Well, why are we working on this part? It's because today we are going to practice, you know, requests, right? Requests, guys, are like uh, pedirles algo a alguien, right? In okay. this case, for example, you have three models that we're going to use. The model number one is wood. Wood is very, very, very polite. The second model is good. This is very, very polite, but not very, 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 okay? And the model number three, it's quite informal, okay? So, for people that you know, for friends, for your family, okay, or co-workers, you use the model can. But for people that you don't know and you want to be more polite, you use could or would, okay? So, but... This is the difference of the models, right? Hood is formal, wood is very formal, and can is informal. informal. Exactly. No, not like informal, like give me the, the candy, for example. No, but it's for people that you have uh, confidence, okay? Friends, family, etc. Okay, so what are we going to do here? This is like using phrasal verbs. Can you turn the music down? Si no, pues digan, can you turn down the music? This is the same. Remember yesterday and the day before yesterday, we were saying that you can put music at the end or in the middle of the verb, right? The other one is, could you close the door, please? 
could you close the door, please? For example, in this case, I can ask Eduardo, eh, puede ponerse sus audífonos, Eduardo, in English. Ah, si Eduardo, gran chero mío de año, vea, yo vengo y le digo, Eduardo, can you, ve, can you put on your earphones, please? Okay, oh, can you put on your earphones? Okay, this is informal. Second, could. Quiero ser formal con Eduardo, yo le digo, Eduardo, could you put on your earphones, please? Si quiero ser más formal porque José García es el presidente de El Salvador. Okay. Okay. Ya, le digo, could. Hoy quiero ser muy formal, so I say would. Ok. Would you please, would you please take, ok, would you please put on your earphones, right? Y una, y una palabra para los diputados no hay. Oh, esa sería como put on your okay. earphones. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> esa ya ni queda informal, right? This is like, pónganse los audífonos. <laughs> This is like, like okay. that. Very, okay. very good. <laughs> now, well, for the president, yeah, right? we have to be like, okay, would, would you? Okay, that's it, okay? For example, eh, pasame, pasame la sal. In your family, Eduardo, how would you say pasame la sal con su esposa? Can, could, or would? Can. Uh -huh. So, can you can. make the request, please? Uh, can you uh, mm -hmm. give me ah, or give ask? Me. Pass. Can you, well, you can the, say, can you pass me the salt? Okay. Can you pass the salt uh -huh. or can you uh -huh. give me the salt? Exactly. Because it's your wife. You have a lot of years with her. Mm -hmm. But then if you are Eduardo, for example, if you are eating in a restaurant, and you don't have, for example, salt, and you ask the table next to you, ya no le va a decir, eh, pásame la sal, si no ya podría. This is like more formal, okay? Can could you make you, it, Eduardo? Could you? Mm -hmm. Could you please mm -hmm. pass the salt? Okay, very good. You see, in here, ya que mencionó la palabra please, In here, look, uh -huh. con could, please is at the end. At the end, I uh -huh. esa pregunta iba a ser. <laughs> ah, ok, ok, ok. With could, please, coma, please is at the end. Okay. For example, could you tell me the time, please? ¿Me podría dar la hora? Um, Le digo a mi hermana, hey, what time is it? <laughs> With my sister, <laughs> it's an imperative, right? Ok, ya mi madre ya no le digo, hey, qué razón, mamá. No, with my mother, I have to be informal, but can you, can you give me the time? Ya no le pongo el please, right? In this case, if you want to, you can do it, no problem. But please is at the end. With, uh, for example, this is with my mom, can you, right? Uh, with my boss, for example, with my boss, I want to be formal, so I said, Could you, could you give me the time, please? Right? Please, at the end. Oh, okay. more formal. More formal. Porque este es el, el jefe de mi jefe. <laughs> okay? So I'd say, would you, would you, but look, please is in the middle. El que paga la planilla. Es. El que paga, no. eh, el, que, el, que, el, que, el que firma los cheques de despido. El que, oh, yes. <laughs> el, que, el que me deposita. Uh -huh. Would you please, would you please tell me the time? Right? Look at this. This is something because in the platform you have to, uh, you have to practice this way. Please, with could, is at the end of the sentence. Would you, you have to use please in the middle of the sentence. Okay? Exactly mm -hmm. after the subject. Okay, this is for requests. Okay, that's it. But if you see here, it's only would. Pero ahora vengo la frase, would you mind? Uf, esa ya sobrepasa, esa ya yoyada. Le importaría. Would you mind? Mr. García, 
would you mind sending me your homework? O sea, ese ya no es mm. can you. Ya no es can you. No, right? no, no, sorry. I, I don't, don't have it. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> the request? It's very polite. The answer, you can you can tell the answer, with whatever kind of answer you want. For example, Jose can say, no, no, if I don't want to. <laughs> okay, or oh, sure, right away. Or, okay, immediately. Okay, but look, it's not the same. Be careful with this. Would is not the same like would you mind. This is different, okay? Would is formal. Very formal, very, very formal. Este es un, como más así, más polite. Le importaría darme la hora, por favor. Y todavía le dice por favor, right? So the expression, would you mind, dice la estructura que después del mind, the verb has to be in the gerund form. Okay. Why gerund, teacher? Because it says mind. But in the other wood, the one that we have here, you don't have mind. So the verb has to be in the original form, in the base form. Okay? That's it. No ing, no past, no to, no. In this case, the original verb. Would you mind, okay, for example, regresando al de la, de la hora, would you mind telling me the time? In here, guys, you have two options. You can use please or you cannot use please. Ese sonaría un poco más polite si le agregan please, right? Pero si no, pues ya solo con decir would you mind, uff, people know and understand that this is a very, very formal request, okay? Sí, in, in, in my town... Yes, Le llaman José. la me botas, la me botas. <laughs> apple shiners, apple shiners, apple shiners. <laughs> In English is apple, de manzana, right? Shiner, de esos que le hacen. Así, right? okay. ah, This is for okay. you, teacher. Uh -huh, yeah. De ahí viene el término de apple shiners, right? Los abrillantadores okay. de manzana. <laughs> Because people, people think that students give apples to teachers, right? Okay, that's it. So this is, esto sería para los apple shiners, ¿ve? Los yoyos. No. Would you mind? <laughs> But this is, it, it depends on the, the, the level of formality, okay? This is depends on the level of formality, okay? For example, in my classes, when I am teaching my classes, I usually use could or can to my students. Can or could, okay. no problem. It depends on the, 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 the formality we have. Um, Would you mind? Que ya sería quizás when I am asking for a job position, I'm looking for a job, you are right to the first time to an office, right? And you say, buenos días, mire, le importaría decirme dónde está el baño, right? That's it. This is a, a request. This is a common request. José, hágame, le importaría decirme dónde está el baño usando can, could, would, And would you mind, please, in the four okay. ways? Can can you can you tell me where where is the bathroom, please? Where where the bathroom is? Acuérdese aquellas que aprendimos where, where the, the bathroom, bathroom is. Ah, okay. okay. Where the can. bathroom is. Excellent. Number okay. two, could. Could you mm -hmm. tell me where the bathroom is, please? Please, very good. Continue with okay. would. Do you please would you tell please? me where would you please tell me where's where the bathroom is? Excellent. Now okay. would you mind? Would you mind telling me? Telling telling me telling me where the bathroom is. Is very good. Yes. Ahora ponga, well, it depends. Ahí si quiere le pone please or not, okay? You have both choices, whether you put it or not. Okay, very good. Now, Eduardo, now you are going to tell me, okay, for example, the request. Um, let me see. Puede 
apagar el televisor a su esposa cuando ya está queriéndose dormir, right? That's it. Go ahead, Eduardo. Can, could, would, and would you mind? Go ahead. Uh, can you turn off the TV? <laughs> Very good. Second one. Could. Could you turn turn off? Could you turn off the TV, please? Excellent. Very good. Number three. Would. would. Would you please turn off the TV? Excellent, very good. Would you mind? Would you mind turning TV? Mm -hmm. uh, Would you mind uh, turning the TV? The TV is off. Off, very good. Ahora quiero que me le ponga please. Go ahead. Que le ponga? Please. Ah, would you would you mind uh, turning TV off, please? Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. And now the last one. Es lo mismo, pero ahora en negativo. Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Mira, te importaría no parquearte aquí. For example, Jose, how would you say that to your neighbor? Mire, disculpe, ¿cree que le importaría no parquearse enfrente de mi casa? <laughs> okay, go ahead, José. This is negative. Would you mind not parking your car here, please? Exactly, very good. Y le hace así de, please. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, now, eh, Eduardo. A sus, a sus trabajadores ahí les dice, mire, le importaría no comer en, en mi oficina, por favor, right? Go ahead. Uh, would you mind uh, not eating in my office, please? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Would you mind not eating? So something that I want you to remember is that when you are using would you mind, you can have it in positive or negative. If it is negative, after mind, you have to use not. And remember that the verb is in the gerund form, I-N-G, okay? That's it. These are the grades of formality. First, can uh, is informal. Could, more formal. Would, a little bit more formal. Would you mind? Very formal, okay? But be careful with this. No es lo mismo decir would que would you mind, okay? Now, let's see. Match the request in column A with the responses in column B. Jose, number one, and choose one answer. Eduardo, number two, and choose one answer. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Could you lend me twenty dollars? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so oh, I'm important. sorry. B is letter D. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't have any cash. Oh, very good. Uh -huh. This is a very nice excuse. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. very good. Could you lend me twenty dollars? Could you? Just como digamos un usted a un coworker, right? Pero si a su esposa le dice, mira, préstame 10 dólares. Hey, can you lend me, right? That's it. Eh, yo se los agarro la cartera y después le digo, hey, te agarro 20 dólares. So this is no request. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the, 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 the relationship is very close, right? That's it. Imagínense cuando, entro, cuando entran allá los, las personas a pedir adelantos. ¿Cómo cree que lo hacen? ¿Con Ken? ¿Could? Would or would good, you mind? Good, good mind, good oh, mind. Would you sí, mind, good exactly. Mind. Okay, would you mind, okay, helping me in this situation because la, 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 la. Okay, nice. Eduardo, second one. Can you? Uh, can you make me uh, a sandwich? Uh-huh, what is the answer there, the response? Letter, letter B. Letter B. Sure. Do, do you want anything to drink? Ah, okay, sure. Would you like anything to drink? So, so happy the person, right? 
Yes. I mean, maybe it's the waiter. Yeah, but maybe they maybe the waiter because in my husband cuando me dice, "Can you make me a sandwich?" Que no ves que son las 10, le digo. No. <laughs> I I say me my wife. Eh, eh, I I say my wife. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Quieres una tacita de café? Sí, mi amor. Hazme hacer dos porque yo también le digo. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, so you, but, but you are so lovely. Uh -huh. No, in my case, sometimes, yeah, because my husband sometimes eats. Uh, when I ask him, uh, for example, are you, are you ready to have dinner? He said, no, 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 I'm not hungry. So I suppose that he's not hungry and he's not going to eat anything. When I am about to go to bed, he said, mira, y no me vas a hacer. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a request. That's it. Okay. The answers could be different, right? There is no, no me vayan a decir, can you turn the music down? Yes, I can. Oh, no, I can't. No, no, no. This is so close. In the responses, guys, you have all the alternatives you want. Okay. Uh, continue, Jose. Number three. Hmm, Jose. Can you help? Can you help me with my homework? With my platform. Uh -huh. mm. What is the correct sure. response? Mm. I don't. Uh, I don't know. E. Letter E. Letter e. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry, but I'm. But I am busy. But I am busy. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay. Very good. This is like a a boy, maybe right, asking a father. Or a big brother. Okay, number four, Eduardo. Uh, would you mind not sitting here? Mm -hmm. um, the, the letter C. Letter C. Go Sorry. Ahead. I didn't realize this seat was talking. Uh, taken. Taken. Okay, very Sorry. good. Okay. Ah, lo siento, no me di cuenta que este asiento estaba ya ocupado, right? Ocupado. Tomado, etc. Okay. Would you mind not sitting here when you travel by bus? <laughs> Mire, cree que le importaría no sentarse a la par mía. <laughs> Yo digo que mm -hmm. si los, los señores dueños de lo ajeno fueran bien polite, uno le diera, fíjense. <laughs> Llegar al ¿Sí? señor, vea, dijera, good morning, everybody. Okay, would you mind giving me one dollar? <laughs> yo dijera, of course, take it. Here you <laughs> Pero no, yo llegan de un solo y ni lo conocen a uno. Give me one dollar. <laughs> That's why people ¿Y si are no, scared. ¿Ah? Si no lo puyan. Of y si course, no lo puyan. si no lo stop, right? Good. Eh, José, number five. Number five. five. Would you please turn down the TV? The TV. Uh -huh, very good. Bajale el volumen a la tele. Would you please turn down the TV? What is the response? I tengo duda como que es la cinco y la seis me da con la con la letter A. Sorry, we didn't know we were so loud. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. uh, okay, but for the number six, six. there is one in a specific. Six. Um, Number five is letter. Sure, no problem. I'd be uh -huh. glad to. I'd be glad to. Very good. Podría bajarle al tele. Sí, seguro. Encantado. Right. Okay. In this case. Okay. <laughs> very polite. Very polite. Okay. Number six, Eduardo. Would you mind? Uh, would you Would you mind speaking more quietly? Quietly, like. Shh. Uh -huh. What is the response? Sorry, we didn't know we were so low. So loud, okay? <laughs> Very, oh, lo siento, no sabíamos que estábamos haciendo tanta bulla, right? Okay, perfect. Very, very, very nice. Okay, guys, that's it. This is the way you make requests, okay? Remember, there are levels of formality. If you want to be very, very formal, would you mind? And after the verb in ing, if you want to be just formal, you can use would or could. And if you want to be informal, you can say can. Okay? Remember the location of the, 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 the um, where to place please 
in the request, okay? If you have any questions, okay, extra questions or something, let me know via WhatsApp. Uh, start doing or continue doing the platform section number one, okay? Because tomorrow we are going to go over the next part. Okay, tomorrow we're going to have a okay. review at the beginning of the class, but then we are going to start with the section number two. Okay, thank you for joining, guys. It was a pleasure to have thank you again. You, okay, have a nice afternoon, everybody. Okay, goodbye. You too. Thanks. Okay, bye. Thank Thank you. Bye.